So one of my early Choro Q purchases was this uh, Datsun Sunny truck here with this glass panel transport and it came in this box RGQ real gimmick as if it has some sort of gimmick but there really is none. This thing doesn't move, it doesn't come out, the hood doesn't open so it's kind of weak that it came in this box. But I do like the Sunny truck enough that I got this one. So let's take a look at this guy here. So this one seems to have like a propane tank. Or says mini tank lorry on it real gimmick again from 2004 tape is sealed I think this is brand new actually all right let's get this guy open some pictures I don't think there's gonna be any moving parts the real gimmick is the uh, the ability for them to take my money <laughs> Good boy. Sorry, I gotta get a ruler. Alright, so. This thing has a really tall plastic case around it for some unknown wasteful reason. I just don't see why the case is that tall, but. Oh well. So I'll keep that, I guess, in case. Side, get this out of the way. What gimmick? Well, this thing kind of flexes. I wonder if this can come out. No, it would be nice if like the door would come down or something and you could remove the, the stuff in it, but no, it's just another gimmick of uh, no moving parts. So it's really weird that they would have a line called real gimmick, but there's nothing really happening. All right, well, you know, I just pulled up a bunch of custom Dawson 510s, but these are called Faroka alloy wheels, and I'm gonna put those on in a second, but before we do that, let's look at the, the toy itself. This one has a nice sky blue paint job, and uh, it's got some sort of, I'm gonna guess that's like a business or something, you know, say Pro, Japan Propane or something, who knows, that as well. It's got a sticker on that, but these are printed on here. Some black detail there. It's got stamped steel wheels, and uh, they actually look pretty good, but, you know, I, I have the ability to 3D print stuff. Grill here, all silver. The badge has no color, unfortunately. License plate is blank. No color in the indicators either. It's a really dark smoked plastic. You can kind of see some stuff through it. And then here, printing again. Door handle, nicely done. Tail lamps are just red, painted on. You got the latches to hold the tailgate up. It's a sunny truck, and then the propane tank. It looks like it actually has a hose. Look at that. So it's a hard plastic, though. I wouldn't want to go bending that. This actually looks like more like a natural. It looks like a gasoline dispenser. You know, this looks like something you'd see at a gas pump. So maybe it's not propane. Maybe it's just like a truck that you know rescues vehicles that ran out of gasoline. Okay. This, uh, again, 2004 is on the model itself, a real gimmick line of vehicles, and then it's screwed together. You'll notice there's white stuff on the tires. It's not a, it's nothing to be alarmed about. You can just rub it off and the tire looks good again. So, uh, that's a tight screw. Let's get that out. Oh, that opened really easily. Here's the construction, it's all one smoked piece of plastic and then it's painted blue. But I think there must be a separate piece going on with that propane tank. It looks like there's a break there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, that doesn't come out. So that's just the way it is. Alright, well, I'm going to get this motor out of here and replace it with another motor that hey, took the drive shaft off. So this goes away. A motor without a drive shaft. Now I can screw this back together. Alright, so I have those Faroka wheels 3D printed and then I swapped some other Choroku tires onto them. Uh, there's supposed to be like a brake rotor back there, but it's part of the same piece of plastic as the entire wheel, so it's pretty basic looking, but it gives it a little depth, you know, 
depth to the wheel. Front. And I'm using Potafix Pro Putty to put these wheels on. It's really quick, it's really easy. You can make the thing steer. Yeah, why not? Let's make this guy steer because I have the other one not steering. There we go. So, yeah. And then I'm going to have some camber. So, I'm going to squeeze it, pinch the top of these rears. And then it cambers out. That's a little bit too much camber, I think. So, let's move that putty a little bit. I think that's a respectable amount of cartoon camber. All right. Okay, let's just take a look here. A couple other customized Sunny pickups. I know that uh, I think it's Ano sixty four is releasing, you know their their pickup again, the Hakatora one, with the Skyline front end, but in BRE colors. So I pre-ordered that one. Someday it'll come in. Alright, so let's get back to this glazier, glass glazier, glass transport truck here. And this one has a Watanabe F8 wheels on it that I 3D printed. And that one has separate brakes as well. Uh, let's see, I do have a Nissan Sunny Coupe. And this is from Choro Q as well, and this has 3D printed wheels too. And then one of my very first Jero Qs I bought was the Jay's Tipo Datsun 510, which I think is related to this this vehicle. It just has four headlights instead of two. But I think the platform might be the same. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Alright. I'm not going to compare it to 164 as I did that on the first uh, review of the, the glass truck. Alright, let's let this guy spin on its own. Today we have a Star Wars Bandai Mim Bam Trooper. And uh, there those wheels again if you want to compare the photograph to what I 3D printed. Alright, well... It seems like the second time around, the real gimmick again is no gimmick at all. It's just a, another, it's just a load, really. But it's strange. I really wish the tailgate moved or something. You know, if it was a true scale vehicle, I wouldn't want any moving panels. But as a cartoon, I, I just, my mind switches. I don't, I don't really care about accuracy because it's a cartoon, right? All right, well, anyways... I'm still going to buy some more Choro Qs, so thanks for watching today, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.